W2AIM, UTELSAT's latest satellite, will accompany the development of resources at 10 degrees east. Delivered by Talis Alenia Space, W2A will replace the W1 satellite at 10 degrees east, where it will have a design lifetime of more than 15 years. 10 degrees east is one of UTELSAT's long-standing orbital locations and a key position for data and professional video networks. W2A will more than double the amount of KU band available at this location, while also boosting the fleet's C-band capacity for services across Africa. The satellite will also feature an innovative S-band payload, the first in Europe, enabling delivery of mobile, multimedia broadcast services directly onto user mobile terminals and vehicles. The KU band payload will provide up to 34 transponders connected to an enhanced wide beam footprint serving Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. Up to 15 KU band transponders will be connected to a second beam serving Southern Africa and Indian Ocean Islands and will enable interconnectivity between Africa and Europe. The C-band payload of 10 transponders will provide pan-African coverage extending to India and parts of Asia, as well as Latin America for broadband and telecommunication services. The S-Band resources, targeted over Europe, will open up a new generation of data and mobile TV services, linking satellite and terrestrial networks. In urban areas, widely deployed terrestrial transmitters will take over from satellite for urban canyons and indoor reception. Outside urban areas, mobile terminals and vehicles will be able to directly receive satellite signals with total user transparency. These S-Band satellite resources will be commercialized by Solaris Mobile, a joint venture created by UTELSAT and SES Astra. W2A, delivering triple band capacity for data and professional video markets and introducing mobile TV services via satellite.